Hello darklings, this time I'm gonna do a little try to show how I did this makeup and sorry if it's not that most exciting video but I'm very short-sighted, normally I stand in the front of the mirror in my bathroom but this time I tried at least to show how I did this makeup and here you're gonna see how I did it. I start with priming my face and then I put on my foundation. I use one with an SPF on, but uh, remember that it's not enough if you're out in the sharp sunlight. But it could help. I usually also have uh, like a day cream under with the SPF on, so I usually put on a lot of SPF because I, I'm pale with my skin. And I'm not that keen of uh, having full coverage either, so I would rather look a little more normal and then I put on my contour and this is gonna look terrible in the beginning before I had used my brush but don't be afraid uh, when it comes to my face itself I usually want to show up that I have some things and my neck is too high the pass I'm not that keen of and as you see when you brush it's gonna disappear I don't have that extreme type of contouring and this is just to make me a little more comfortable to show myself out when I have makeup on because I have little fluffy face sometimes because of my fear problems and here I show that I'm swollen I don't have just hooded eyes I have swollen eyes and that makes other type of problems when I done with my foundation I put on a nice base uh, primer and that's to help my eyeshadow to pop a little better and as you see I do that on both eyes of course and here you can see that my eyebrows is very light you hardly see them and I'm sorry that I'm looking down a lot in this video but I'm not used to do this type of things I usually standing in the front of the bathroom mirror with my nose almost against it and here I show that I'm putting on my eyebrows now so you can see that I really have eyebrows too and this was a new brush but I was not satisfied with this one so I'm gonna go back to the one I usually have and uh, because it didn't go that well and uh, I don't have the same type of help that you should have so I'm gonna co complete the both eyebrows off the camera and even fix them a little better but this will show that I do it in a certain way and uh, when I'm satisfied with the shape and everything it's usually time for putting on my eyeshadow but here I'm struggling still with the eyebrow and was a little annoyed that the new brush didn't work as planned <laughs> and you can see that I didn't like the result that good and after that I take a eyeshadow palette from Loveless Cosmetics and I'm gonna go for a base color you don't have to think about it, just use something that suits you. In this case, I should choose this one. I'm not gonna tell the names during the video, but uh, I want to show how I did it. And uh, I do the same pursuit again on the next eye. I can't do just one eye at a time. I usually do the same type of things in the same moment on both eyes. So I remember exactly what I did. And I'm also going to use from Makeup Revolution UK XX eyeshadow palette. And I used the navy blue. And I'm going to fill the whole eyelid mostly with it. And I'm even going to put in my crease. It's going to look a little darker in the top. But in this light it's a little hard to tell because I have swollen eyes, hooded eyes and all that type of things. But you will see later how it's gonna look like it right now is just look like shit. But uh, it's more about having fun and dare to try. 
And you can see that I have to stretch a little my eyelid to get everything even. So I'm satisfied with it. And for people that are wondering about my hair, why it looks like the fin on the top, that is because I have fetal problems. It's not just my eyes that suffer with it. I lose a lot of hair too, and some are not growing back in the same way. But I'm not that bold like it can look like in some lights because I have very light hairs. So it look worse on camera than it usually are. But I am very light in my hair, so it looks worse. And now we're gonna do like a sort of cut crease or whatever you call it. Because I'm gonna add other colors. But I prefer to do it in the navy blue all over so I can get a little more depth in the next color. And then I use the base primer again to do this cut crease and then I go back to Loveless Cosmetics eyeshadow palette again and I take the lightest color in it and put it all over that bit that put the primer on and you can see that it starts to shine very much but it don't go white white like it looked like in the palette but it doesn't matter because it's the effect we're after and uh, do that almost all the way out and I'm gonna do that on both eyes but right now I um, prefer to only do one and then I go back to the XX Revolution again and take the one that is more like a shimmer glitter type of thing and this one is really cool because in some lightning it almost go like a purplish shine on it in this light my camera actually don't call out the colors that good. It looks very light, but uh, it's not that light like, like it looks like. And then uh, we have to smoosh it a little more, blend it, blend it, blend it. That's what you always hear in all the type of videos, blend, blend, blend. And now we go back. And we take the lightest one in the eye corner because that gives a little cool effect. You don't see that much what I'm doing because I'm looking too much down. But it is in my eye corners. And I also take it a little more up and just under my eyebrows too to do it like a highlighting type of thing. I think that's cool. See? And I'm a little silly with all my type of poses. And then now we go for eyeliners, both uh, liquid and one that goes under. I just wanted to add it because I had got hooded eyes and swollen eyes. I can't do like youngsters do that don't have it. So I start to do this part first and then go down and connect it down in another angle. Plus I even have some things going on here. I have to shake in the mirror so I got like a more straight line all the way because I got swollen eyes. That's the only thing I'm gonna talk about directly myself. And I also use this brown Maybelline on my eyelashes up and down. I don't have different ones just because I have lashes under and over. I'm gonna put this on. I'm gonna put on my false lashes and then I will be back and do the last bits. See you soon. Then it's time for my highlighter. It's also from Makeup Revolution UK. I usually start with a lighter one and I put it on my nose, on top of my forehead. And I just realized I forgot my rouge. I need to put that before I put the last bits of the highlighter. And I usually take first the lighter ones under my eyes and then the one that is a little darker between that one and my rouge. And that uh, looks really great. Then I'm gonna prime my lips. I'm not sure if this do anything different because I still have problems with using different type of lip gloss of liquid lipsticks but now I'm gonna have to try to use the liquid lipsticks from Lalas Cosmetics two different colors 
and I do the lip liner first and then I put the black and the blue and I put the fix spray last so it's gonna keep I hope you enjoyed my video and this was the makeup I did and I hope it looks better when you see it ready don't forget to subscribe, like, share and comment and don't forget to leave the notification bell. Thanks for watching. Love you all.